All right, so there we go. We have our materials and we got our textures now. Very important that you delete anything that you are not using. If you're not using it as a texture, don't have it within your scene. Always keep your scene elsewhere uh, that has like the development process. So keep it lean and then it won't be mean. That was lame. Oh well. So let's go back to Unity and see how that looks. So I look at all these soldiers. Now I got three and it works out quite well. So I know muzzle flash. I would have had to done this anyway because muzzle flash just goes over here and then I have to change it to a transparent diffuse. Okay, and I have to do that for each one. So soldier one, get soldier one, and then transparent diffuse. Soldier two, get soldier two. Transparent diffuse. And then the last one. So that's why I'm I'm saying it for like the 80th time. Naming convention. Very important. Without it, you don't know what you're doing. Okay, so now soldier is fixed. I should be able to see soldier, which is right here. And if I look down here, he should be there and present. Uh, he should have one animation attached to him. He's very bright. And I think that's the lighting in here. Let's test him out here in a second. Um, up here at the top, I have the scale factor and it's 0 0.01. So wow, that's a difference, right? So I'm going to put a, a, a 10 scale factor in for that. And then I'm going to try out that scale factor by just going into a, a side view here. And drag him out. Okay, and you can see that he's there. He's really small. So now you have to decide that scale factor. I like to decide the scale factor right away. I don't like scaling him up that much. So I'm going to say 100. And 100 is way too big. So now I have to decide what that scale factor is going to be. Uh, so scale factor 100 too big. Let's go 30 and let's try that out. So see the scale is 1 right now. If I was to shrink him down, he would still work, but the scale factor is off. Does that matter? Not really, I guess. I'm just being picky. So, you know, that scale factor is kind of important to me as a picky artist saying, okay, maybe I'm going to get somewhere close to it and then scale them. But at least that way, I can get it halfway there. Wow, that's insane. He's like way bigger now. So I'm going to go back to 10 because maybe just Unity was on crack at the time. And I'm going to shrink them down for the interest of taking a little bit too long with this as far as the video goes. So I can scale them right there. So I would, you know, I wouldn't do that. I would take probably the time to actually do it and find out what the correct scaling is and scale it in corresponding to that. If you use the Unity grid script, just note that, you know, you won't be able to add too many bones into the situation that way. All right, now this cube is totally in my way. So I'm going to put that off screen a little bit and grab my soldier and put him on the ground. Perfect. Wow, he looks cool. And now also, I'm going to create another cube object and encase him into this cube. Uh, don't forget that the soldier has to be on zero and the new cube also has to be at a state of zero Z. Okay.
I do not like rotating the ob uh, the guy's bones that much. You know, if I can get away with it, I will try to uh, manipulate something like this, for example, and then just turn off mesh render, and this is going to be his collider. Okay. There we go. So soldier gets clicked and dragged into soldier collider. And there we go. He's now in here. Go on to the next video where I can show you some more.